Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today I have my January 2019 favorites. It's a little bit later than I wanted it to go up, but it's going up and you guys love these videos. At least you told me you love these videos, so I hope you love these videos. Uh, but I'm really excited today to be sharing with you guys my monthly favorites. Um, January was a great month crafty-wise and trying new things and just sort of being creative like I want to be, which is all the time obviously, but I have a lot of favorites to go through today. Um, and luckily, thanks to my bullet journal, I have a list that I've created all month long so that I didn't forget what I wanted to talk about, um, which usually happens when I do these videos. So the first thing in my bullet journal on my monthly favorites list is bullet journaling. Um, now, I have a love and hate relationship with bullet journaling. I showed you guys my bullet journal earlier in January and I had it set up and I did not use the weekly like calendar in there at all so i'm not going to do that in february i think i'm just going to use it for my trackers maybe do some different trackers um like i only had one page for patreon and stuff but like these trackers monthly favorites and my creation list are some things that i absolutely want to keep doing um i also like having this uh uh, month block blocked out that way I could mark down birthdays if I wanted to I'm a little bit lazy about that I had a patreon page as you guys saw and then of course my weekly page and then I also had a YouTube upload schedule which I didn't finish filling out but during that week I was actually gone so I'll allow it <laughs> but as for the monthly bullet journal I do love the journal that I have this is just a Jarbo journal from Amazon, and I can have it linked down below if you guys are interested. I believe I paid $6.50 for this, um, and it's hardcover, but it also opens up to be almost a flat lay. Not exactly a flat lay, but close enough for me. But I'm going to be reading my monthly faves out of this list, so that's why I'm looking down. To start off, I have different categories. So this month I had a lifestyle category, um, and that's because I absolutely love bee socks. If you guys don't know, I'm from New York and it snows a lot here. So these are two different types of socks. I believe these are both gifts, so I'm not sure where they're from, but I believe these ones are Columbia um, socks. Um, I don't think they're wool, but they're close to wool. They're, I believe that these are um, called outerwear socks. Um, so you'd wear these with your boots when you go outside to shovel. Love these socks. They've been lifesavers for saving my poor little feet. I'm actually wearing a pair right now that are slipper socks. Um, so they have grips on the bottom, but these ones do not. Um, so I wear these with my regular boots, but I love these. If you're in a cold climate and don't have some of these socks, highly recommend um, these big fuzzy socks. <laughs> so those were the first thing on my list. And I hope you guys enjoy some things that are crafty and non-crafty related because I tend to like videos that cover a multitude of categories. Next up I have beauty, which we won't have this uh, every month, but I just happened to use some beauty things this month that I liked. The first thing is the Burst Bees Mango Moisturizing Lip Balm. I have two flavors of these. The first one here is mango, which I doubt the camera will focus on, uh, but this mango one is awesome. I do also have a pear one, which not is awesome. Okay, yep. <laughs> Can you guys tell I still don't know how to work my new camera yet? Let's try this instead. There we go. Is that backwards? It's backwards to me. I wonder if it's coming backwards in the playback. Oh well. Pretend it's not backwards if it is. Uh, but this is just an all natural lip balm made with beeswax. Not all beeswax, but mostly beeswax. Um, but mango is definitely my favorite one. Then next up I have a face wash. This is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser with Purified Water. I purchased this at Walmart a couple of years ago and it's my favorite face wash. It gets my makeup off, makeup off wonderfully, especially my mascara. And it's a thinner face wash, so it does do a little bit of foaming, but not too much. And it doesn't sting my eyes as much as some of the other types do that say do not get near your eyes, whereas this one's more eye safe than normal ones. So I really like that and it's generally inexpensive. I think I paid around $4 for that bottle and I still have it. <laughs> I use it, I don't use it every day, but I use it almost every day. So those are the main lifestyle pieces that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm just going to hop around here though, just so we get a little bit more interesting um, jumping around here. So next up I have my Copic multi liners. I talked about these in my bullet journal video as well, but these markers are amazing. I also have now, I didn't ha remember this at the time. Oops, sorry about that noise. But I also have Copic multi-liners in sepia and cool gray. Um, I happened to use my cool gray one this month on a layout, which I believe just went up. Uh, I used it in January, but the video went up in February. Confusing. Uh, but these are absolutely great for journaling. Uh, I'm not sure if they're photo safe. I have not checked that out yet, but they are pigment 
ink, water, and Copic proof. So if you're seeing an image and it, you miss a little bit of a line, you can go back with these and fill it in and it'll be safe for your watercolors, for your Copics. They're perfect. Um, and I got this set off of Amazon for Christmas and it covers a bunch of different sizes. Actually in the wrong order. But they come in 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 1.0. Um, which is really helpful, especially when you're doing journaling and bullet journaling to have different size tips to do different fonts Different sized lettering all sorts of stuff. So I absolutely love these and they do come in a multitude of colors um, I'm just preferred the black for journaling Next up we have the collection of the month as I call it, but this is the Maggie Holmes bloom collection I use this like crazy this month. I've had it for a while because I bought it on clearance at Tuesday morning um, and you know, I just actually saw this at Michael's as well for the hot buy paper pads and it would have been 420 when I bought it So that's kind of upsetting. So I did pay more for this than I should have uh, But it's a beautiful paper pad if you guys haven't seen it. Where have you been? I've seen this a million times, but it's absolutely beautiful um, and I finally did buy it last year and um, I had a lot a lot of trouble using it um, some of these papers are very bold compared to what I normally use um, but I'm really excited to have used it so much this month in my page kits. Now this is actually from 2015. So if you guys saw my tag video for Chrissy's Beautiful Life tag where I said Bloom was my favorite collection of 2018 because I wasn't sure when it came out. 2015. That's how late I am to the game. But that's the only thing I do own from the Bloom collection. Uh, but I love the papers nonetheless. So I'm going to throw that in there. And it is still available places. So if you've not gotten it yet, head to Michael's, head to Tuesday Morning. It's going to be somewhere. Next up, I have paper clips. Um, I didn't get any of these out because they were in my kit when I made this list, but I absolutely adore paper clips on my layouts. Um, I have some from KI Memories that came in these little test tubes. I have some from Joann's. I have some from, you know, the paper, the paper store. But what's really great about uh, paper clips, these are my, like, not cute paper clips, but still cute. Um, so I use these to put together my page kits. I will take them and pay, and pin and clip the paper together uh, so they don't get damaged by like a binder clip per se. Um, so that's what I tend to use, but I also use the pretty ones and the safer ones on my scrapbook pages, which I did a lot this January, um, so that's good. And then one non-physical item is my favorite YouTuber of the month. And I'm going to pick uh, Shannon from She's Crafty. She's someone I found in January. She does really drool-worthy hauls. So if you guys don't need hauls, don't go over to her until you're out of a spending freeze. But she also does great uh, other videos. She also participated in Christy's Beautiful Life tag. So you guys can get to know her a little bit better if you're interested. And I'll have a link down below to her as well so you can check her out. That way you guys can find somebody new for the month of February to watch. Next up was another item from my homemade stash kit, and it was these Amy Tangerine uh, Remarks 8 Alphabet sticker pages, and these are free stickers in four different colors. So they came in a baby blue, a yellow, a pink, and a gray, and if you guys don't know, gray is my favorite color. And I bought these at Tuesday morning, not too long ago, um, but I did use a bunch of these in my stash kit, so that was awesome. Let's see what's up next. I had the Heidi Swap Butter Color Shine. Um, this had a little mishap this month. If you guys haven't watched that process video yet, I uh, spilled this all over. So go watch it if you're interested in watching that happen. Um, and it was towards the end of a layout, so that was very, very heartbreaking. But luckily nothing got ruined. Um, but I still have a bunch of this left, and I did use it a bunch this month. And yellow is not a color that I work with very often, but when I do, I love how it turns out, especially lighter yellows not like neon yellow but you know how it is next up i have one thing that i didn't really get out but it's back here can you tell i was not really prepared for this video and it's this basic gray alphabet now basic gray is no longer around for scrapbooking supplies but um, i purchased this in canada a couple years ago um, but i really really love these stickers and these ones i don't think it has i don't think they really have a name um, but it's BAS3988. I don't know what that means. But these are 2012 basic gray stickers. They're in off black is what I would call them. They're almost like a dark gray, but not dark gray. They're like black gray, if that makes sense. But it's a really nice color when you need something stark, but not too much contrast, which is really, really nice. And the last thing that I wanted to get out, but I can't because I accidentally stacked all of my tripod stuff on top of it was the Pink Fresh Studio Alphabet Stamp Set called Lorena. That was the alphabet stamp set I used on a bunch of different layouts this month. It was in my page kits for January 
absolutely adore that stamp set i will try to see if it's still available on pink fresh studios website that's where i had purchased it because they had a sale going on uh, but if it's not there, I'll try to find it somewhere else. It's a great font. It's a script font, but it's like a playful script font. So that's really fun. It's not like a formal script font. So other than that, those are my favorites for the month. Now, another thing we do in the monthly favorites videos are doing the uh, empties. So I have two empties this month. That's right, two, um, which is crazy. I finished off this Heidi Swap sticker set. Now, this was um, nine gold stickers. They were really like the um, gritty sparkly gold, like you could feel the sparkle. I used up the last two of these on a Washington DC layout for my Multi-Photo Monday page, which was called In the Capital, I believe, I think. Um, but I used those up, so I'll be using to Heidi Swap stickers. I have more of where that came from, so that's fine. And then I used my first ever Spiegel Mom Scrap sequin mix-up. Can we get an amen? Hallelujah, I've used one. Um, I cannot describe to you guys how amazing it's been on Spiegel Mob Scraps design team. I get, I get spoiled with sequins and I finally used up a pack. This one was one of my favorites and it's the hashtag boy mom life one. Now I believe this one is sold out but she has released a couple other sets that are more uh, geared towards masculine layouts or masculine color schemes. So if you guys are interested, I'll have Spiegel Mob Scraps linked down below and you can use my code for a discount, which I always have down below as well. But according to my monthly faves, that is it. Now I did have a music section on here and normally I would pick a song that I'd listened to a lot this month or something like that. Um, but I really didn't listen to music much this month. Um, I did, however, start reading a book and I guess I'll plug that instead. Um, I started reading The Happiness Project by Gretchen. I don't know how to say her last name, but I'll have it linked down below as well. Um, it's essentially a book that takes you month by month into creating a happiness project, which is finding a more happy life for you. So if you guys are interested in some sort of self-help books, um, that's the one I'm currently reading. I think I'm going to stick with it month by month so I can kind of keep up with it and sort of take in every month, every month's subject more, you know, deeply. Um, but that's what I've been doing. I don't listen to music very often. I'm more a YouTube or podcast person, but if you guys would like to know other categories of favorites from the month, let me know. Um, I would love to maybe do a text section sometimes if I have something in that. Um, beauty, like I said, won't always be there, but it'll be there sometimes. Um, and then lifestyle, which is more like clothes or I don't know what else falls under lifestyle, but if I have something, I'll let you guys know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that you guys said you loved the monthly favorites last time and I'd love to keep doing them if you do. So again, please let me know in the comments down below and let me know one thing that you guys love this month so I can sort of try out new things. And if you guys don't know, I also have a section in my bullet journal that is called uh, things to check out and I'm looking for stuff to put on it. I have one thing written down in my phone notes because I couldn't get to my bullet journal, but I'm looking for more things to put on it. So let me know a thing to check out, whether it's a podcast, a new website, a new store, something. I'm always looking for something new. So let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.